Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am the Curious Owlbear, and I'd like to welcome you to a brand new series on the channel. I hope to give you some fun, quirky ideas for some characters that you can play or use as NPCs in your home game. Today, we'll explore what happens to wild magic sorcerers as they deal with the difficulties of aging. Better stand back as this sorcerer's bodily functions can be just as devastating as his wild magic. The adventurers have made their way to a city or large town. They have some coin in their pocket from a recent quest, so of course they make their way into one of the magic shops. There is one magic shop that isn't so much a shop, but a large covered wagon that has been turned into a more permanent structure. The back of the wagon is unfolded and anchored to the ground with some large poles. A satin covering has been extended over the back of the wagon, but the ground is just hard packed dirt. This suits the shopkeeper quite well, as he's a human man well into his 80s. He's wrinkled and withered, hobbling around with the help of a wooden cane. The man wears purple robes, intricately inlaid with valuable silks, and his long white beard drapes down to his navel. He can't see or hear very well, so the players will need to make their presence known. Immediately, he's startled, letting out a small stream of flatulence. Along with this flatulence is a random effect from the wild magic table in the player's handbook. This could be a harmless sensory effect, it could be a creature spawned out of thin air, or a fireball centered on the shopkeeper among a myriad of other effects. The sorcerer will continue to have these outbursts as he suffers from burps, bumps into tables, and other small surprises which always cause one of these effects to occur. Of course, You'll want to pair this character with an adequately eccentric voice! This character is a lot of fun as a shopkeeper NPC, but could be equally fun as a player character. The character could be searching for a method of restoring his vision and hearing to their full power, or the Fountain of Youth. Or, they could simply be looking for a better handle over their wild magic. Whatever the case, this is a fun method of increasing the number of wild magic effects that will take place, as, from personal experience, there may only be a handful of wild magic surges over the course of a campaign. And that brings us to the end of today's character drop. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to tune in at 12pm Pacific Time on Friday for my next video, featuring random encounters for prisons. Until next time, be well, be excellent to one another, and stay curious, adventurers.